And who was it? Green Tangle asked, Can you make a bolt strip video? Thanks. Yes, I can. Um, but before I do that, I just want to point a couple of things out. One is that the, uh, the bolt throw on this is such that um, I had uh, Butler Creek covers on this scope, and uh, the, uh, with the ocular bell, being where it is, and this is only a um, only a VX Freedom, Leopold VX Freedom, so the ocular bell isn't very big, but, and these are mid-size tallies, um, scope rings and mounts, one piece scope rings and mounts, um, with those uh, Butler Creek, uh, the bolt was actually hitting the, the cover, the Butler Creek cover, so I had to eliminate those, well, I, if I'm going to eliminate one, I'll just eliminate both of them. Um, now, so these are tally rings and mounts. Um, I'll tell you what the number is. They are tally 9400000, and they fit Browning A bolt, Steyr Pro Hunter, and uh, is it the Seiko A7. Um, so, with the receiver is tapped, drilled and tapped, and has actually three six holes. I don't know exactly what there is, I, I was a bit worried when I saw it, but um, yeah, so that's the scope mounts, and you need at least mids, otherwise, um, if you can see that, you're not, oh, oh, I have it's it there. Not clear. If you grip a bolt handle like it's a, like it's a gear stick, you're going to have problems. The way that I cycle a bolt is, is like that, so I, I have very little, and because it, it is quite a smooth bolt, um, you don't have to really apply a lot of force to it. Uh, now, one thing I said was that, uh, so to take the bolt out, we'll start this, take the bolt out. Let's see, I'll just make sure that I'm in shot. Right, so to take the bolt out, you need to rock the tang safety all the way back till that button is up, and then the bolt comes straight out. Uh, so I'll put the rifle to one side. Um, now, so the bolt itself, I did say that it was a, a two lug bolt. It's not. It's actually a four lug bolt, but it's dual dual opposed with two staggered uh, lugs. Yeah, it's a four lug bolt with two lugs either side opposing. So it is actually four lug. Um, it's typical typical plunger, typical plunger. It's got the Seiko style uh, sort of extractor. You can see there's some sort of um, yeah wire do do hickey holding it down. Uh, now take the bolt apart. It is this is probably one of the easier um, bolts to take apart uh, compared to say like a Remington or a Mauser or something like that, especially a Remington. So it is really really easy to take apart. One thing you should um, take note of is the position of this, this, this hexagonal, not hexagonal, um, rectangle uh, piece on the shroud is in line with the bolt handle. Okay, so just be aware of that. Keep that in mind. So remember that. All you have to do right there is, is a spring loaded, I don't know what it is, spring loaded catch or something. Depress that. Turn it just a little bit of a turn and apart she comes. Okay. And there you go. That is about, I'll just make sure that's in shot again. Come on. Unlock, you idiot. Okay. That is about as far as I would want to take that apart. All right. You, you can take it apart further, but it's really not necessary. You're definitely going to be able to do all the cleaning that you have to. Um, yeah, it's a full-length firing pin, and um, 
Yeah, so now, to put it back together, it's pretty easy. It only goes in one way, I think, yeah, like that. And that goes, yeah, do like that. Now, to get it back together, so you've got to depress that again. And it's a, it, it is a bit difficult. So you get it to there, right? Now it's back together, but that is not in line with the bolt handle. So what you've got to do is, and it is a bit hard, but just push that thing over, bang, and it's back in place. And I'll just wipe my hand. And um, and then it just goes straight in. Put this back, yep. bang, working again. So it's, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of resource with regards to disassembly and assembly of the bolt. Um, there is like a, a mechanical step-by-step -step that pretty quick goes through a pretty quick total disassembly of the of the scout I think it is oh, I can't remember which which one it is but um, it's just a mechanical um, a, a CAD a CAD film of this and it's and it's not very good it doesn't um, really explain it very well I'm gonna do that again just to oil it up because yeah it is pretty dry in there and she comes back together it's safe. You can still cycle it. Fire. Bang. So that's the process. It's pretty simple. Um, yeah. Uh, I just learned how to do it just then, just through trial and error. So, um, yeah. What can you say? Oh, one thing I will note is that um, I just rang the, the store that I bought it from, Cleavers in Margate in Brisbane and uh, I got two extra, I got, it was the only ones I had actually, two extra spaces for the stock because it is quite short for me. Um, yeah, they only charged me like 20 bucks a pop, which, yeah, is reasonable compared to what their magazines cost. The magazines, if you want a spare magazine, easier to do it like this, if you want a spare magazine, the damn things cost um, 199 bucks Australian. Uh, that is one quarter of the price of the rifle. And I said to him, man, that's one quarter of the price of the rifle, the guys who I was dealing with. And he said, yeah, I know, we got, them, we got these styes in really cheap. That's why um, we're selling them really cheap. That's one thing about cleavers. Um, if they get stuff in cheap, they will sell it cheap, typically. Um, they're not, I know, I'm, I'm, I've heard from, from not many, a couple of people said, oh, I don't deal with cleavers, I've always had trouble with them and, you know, they rip me off and all this. Well, I've never been ripped off by them. They don't sponsor me, they don't do anything for me, they don't give me any discounts, but, you know, if I deal with a store that's good, um, that takes care of me, you know, I'll give them a plug. So, yeah, um, I don't have any problems buying guns off cleavers. And they're in Queensland, so it was really easy just to get this shipped straight to my door. In Queensland, it just gets shipped via Australia Post. But, Cleavers charge you five, 49 bucks, which is pretty good considering size of the package and what it is. And uh, yeah, they just deliver it to your door. So um, that's about it, and uh, see you later.